Hi, I'm Justin, and I'd like to give a quick demonstration of my new add-on, Stop Motion OBJ. This add-on is for importing OBJ sequences into Blender and for viewing and rendering those animated sequences. So this is useful for importing animation from other animation software, as well as importing, say, fluid simulations from a program like RealFlow. Now real quick, how to find and download the script. Um, you'll want to go to the GitHub page for the project and come over here and click clone or download and download the zip. Once you've downloaded that zip file, go find it in your downloads folder, extract it, and then copy the script to your Blender add-ons folder. Uh, this will be something in Windows like uh, your drive letter, program files, Blender Foundation, Blender, your Blender version, scripts, add-ons. So just copy the file in there and then uh, go open Blender. So I've opened Blender, come to File, User Preferences, and then search for the add-on. The easiest way to do that is just type OBJ and it's called Stop Motion OBJ. So you click to enable that, click Save User Settings, and this is very important, you need to close Blender and reopen it before the add-on will work. So now I'll show you real quick how to use the add-on. I've opened a new file in Blender and we'll just delete the cube. Um, now to add a sequence, um, I like to uh, do Shift A to, for the add menu. It's under Mesh OBJ Sequence. So click to add one and at first it'll be empty. We still need to load the sequence into it. Um, so come over here to the Properties tab and click on the Object tab and scroll down to the bottom there'll be a new menu called OBJ Sequence. Now you'll want to direct the add-on to where your OBJ Sequence is stored. Um, so I've navigated to where my sequence is stored. This is important, you need to make sure that relative path is unchecked. Um, the add-on doesn't quite handle relative paths yet, so you want to make sure that's unchecked. Also important, uh, make sure that your numbering system is zero padded. So you see here 000, 001, all the way up to 023. Um, if you don't have zero padding on your frames, uh, weird things can happen. So we're in the folder, just click accept to say that's the folder the files are in. And then we'll want to enter the name of the file, the kind of the name they have in common. So in this case, I'll just say horse. Um, and then click load OBJ sequence. And depending on the complexity of each file, the number of frames, and the speed of your computer, this could take a little while. So we've loaded the sequence, um, and let's just rotate it to get it upright properly. And then we can just play the animation and see, the, see it go. So you see the animation went, that's 24 separate OBJ files as one animation. And now, if you'll notice, uh, once it gets to the last frame, it freezes. Um, there's a couple of playback modes, and I'll explain those right now. Um, down here in the menu, there's, uh, by default, the extend playback mode. So when you get to the end of the sequence, uh, the last frame just freezes. Um, and then there's also blank, so when you get to the end of the sequence, the object just disappears. Um, there's also repeat, so this is especially useful for this horse sequence since it's a looped animation. Once you get to the end, it just restarts, it plays the animation over and over and over until you stop. And then finally there's this, a mode called bounce. This will just play the animation once it gets to the end, it starts playing in reverse. Once it gets to the beginning, it plays back, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth. Um, so for this animation, we'll want to use repeat. Uh, you can also change which frame the animation starts on by changing start frame right here. Uh, and you can also change the speed of the animation. So if you wanted it slower, half the speed, let's say 0 0.5, play it back and it'll play at half the speed. Likewise, if you to playback speed of more than one, it'll play back faster. So we'll just leave it at one. Um, finally, there's a, a feature uh, called sequence baking. Um, 
sometimes, let's say, if you wanted to run this animation on someone else's computer who doesn't have the add-on installed, or uh, let's say you want to render the animation on a render farm or on a supercomputer, and you don't want to have to install the add-on on the render farm and configure Python and all of that mess, you can bake the sequence so that it will run on any computer. So for now, this uh, action can't be undone, so make sure that you have the sequence exactly, exactly how you want it before you bake the sequence. So we'll bake the sequence, and um, now the sequence is baked, and there's actually, uh, it's found inside this empty object, and there's actually one object for each frame of animation. And if we play it back, we can see it still plays. Um, so if you find any bugs with this add-on, it's still quite new, um, please report them. I want to hear about them because I want to make this add-on as good as I possibly can. Report them on the GitHub page for the project. There's an Issues tab, and go ahead and tell me about bugs there, um, and I'll try and take care of them as quick as possible. Also, if you have suggestions for this add-on, um, please go to the Blender Artist thread where this add-on was first announced. Add the suggestions there. I can't promise that I'll get to all of those, but I'd love to hear your feedback. So thanks for watching this quick demonstration of the stop-motion OBJ add-on, and I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks.